Hey guys, welcome back to my to my channel. This is Ollie's mom. If you're new here, welcome. If you're a returning subscriber, thank you so much for your support. If you enjoy my content, please click like this video, subscribe to my channel, and don't forget to comment what is the perfume that you're planning to wear this fall. Fall is my most favorite season of the year. Actually, no, I take that back. Spring is my favorite season of the year because it's my birthday and it's flower starts blooming and it's just getting warmer. But besides spring, I enjoy fall in terms of fragrances. Pretty much I love something that's heady, thick vanilla, sexy, ambery. So those are what I'm looking forward to wearing the most and those are fall fragrances. So I'm super duper excited. I have like a box of fragrances here that I'm going to talk to you about. So yeah, if you're interested to know what I might pick, stay tuned. So I'm wearing an oversized silk kind of like a boyfriend tee that I got from Goodwill. Um, it's like, I don't know if you could see. It's really, well, it's kind of big. It's oversized. I really, really enjoy wearing this. I think I bought this for 10 bucks from Goodwill and it's 100% silk and I love it. I love it, I love it, I love it. I could wear it during my errands. I'm just gonna mention quickly the perfume that I always have in my videos because these are what I truly, truly, truly love. But because I have said it a hundred times, I'm just gonna go through it quickly. Um, you all know that I love Armani Privé Rouge Malachite. This is a beautiful tuberose, ambery, vanilla, coconut, elang. It's just a beautiful, a fancier version of Alien. So I absolutely love this one. So I'll be reaching a lot of this during fall. Great performance, great projection. Oh, lasts a long time, eight hours. It smells amazing. It gives me that boost of confidence. Okay, the next one, as you all know, I absolutely love this one. I feel like I mentioned this perfume in every of my video, but I truly, truly, truly love it, guys. That's why I want to mention it because I am being authentic to you. So this is Delina exclusive. It smells like a beautiful, sensual rose gourmand. It smells like a baklava rose syrup with the nutmeg ice cream but for some reason today it's extremely musky because it's kind of humid in this room i think i love this one you guys i have two parfums tomorrow i have soft nut and i have this one i find that soft nut it's much more wearable during summer so because of that i'll be reaching for this a lot more during fall even though i love them both equally uh, depends on the season but for sure, the Lina Exclusive is love at first sniff. Projection's amazing. It radiates beauty and sensuality and confidence and femininity. Um, it lasts about six hours on me. It's just amazing. I absolutely love Parfums de Marley. It's like one of my favorite perfume house, but then I have a lot of favorites. So, yep. Next, you all know that I love this one so much. Um, I think I mentioned this in almost all of my video. If I have a signature scent, it would be, this might be it because this is what I reach for all the time for bedtime. If I need some comfort, if I don't know what to wear, I always, always, always gravitate towards Alien Essence Absolute. This is just a beautiful, beautiful, ambery, gourmandy version of Alien. It's so sexy. It smells like as if you combine Alien with Hypnotic Poison. So this one smells just amazing. If you don't have it, just be on the lookout for it. Sometimes once in a while it shows up in Amazon at a really good deal. But yeah, my first bottle, I bought it uh, from Mercari. It's at a much higher price. Um, but this one, I got it for a reasonable price from Theory Moogler um, in Amazon. Perform amazing, like six to eight hours, projects. It's just beautiful, you guys. 
So the third one that I am going to wear the most. All right, so this is gonna be an interesting one. So this is my recent purchase. I never mentioned this in this channel before, but I've had this for about a month now. So I've been testing this a lot. First time I got this perfume, this is Dolce Gabbana, the only one intense. A lot of you, my subscriber, recommended this. So, and then this is also Maria Colette favorite uh, perfume. She raved about it. This one smells really beautiful, you guys. So, not gonna lie, the first time I got this, I was slightly disappointed because I was expecting like coconutty, ambery, sensual version of vanilla perfume. I guess in my head when I got this, I was imagining it's gonna smell like a coconut version of Alien Essence Absolute, you know, something that's more vanillic, more deep, more ambery, woody, sexy, um, maybe has a little bit of a coconut and almondy, I don't know, something that smells like this. So that's what I expected. So when you first spray it on, this one reminds me so, 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 so much of um, Dolce Gabbana, Dolce Garden. The coconut is quite similar and then the amount of sweetness, it's very, very similar. So extremely, extremely, extremely sweet. It also have a coffee note in here that reminds me so much of the, um, the only one, the original just like the one in black opium. So to me, the amount of sweetness of this is quite similar to the original during the opening. Yeah, so initial burst, I get the coffee note, which is prominent, which is similar to black opium or similar to the only one. And then like within a few minutes, it start getting even sweeter and sweeter and then the coconut gets more prominent and more prominent and at that stage it reminds me so much of Dolce Garden. The sweetness actually dies down after about 15 minutes to half an hour. It becomes much less sweet and becomes an orange blossom coconut scent. But the dry down here is very, very, very similar to the dry down of Ellie Sub Girl of Now Shine. So I don't have the original version. Um, this one has pineapple notes, but it has this like orange blossom dominant that is present here. So from that perspective, I'm a little bit disappointed because this reminds me of Black Opium plus Dolce Garden plus Ellie Sub Girl of Now Shine. Um, but regardless, this is a beautiful perfume. If you don't have any of that what I mentioned, or if you love it so much and you want another one, go ahead and get it. But if you're not a big fan of sweet perfume like Dolce Garden or Alice Up Girl of Now Shine, then maybe stay away from this. I personally enjoy this a lot. Actually, this is one of my worn perfume. Well, I have a lot. I mean. I love all of this, so I wear them a lot. And you know I'm very, very liberal when applying to my perfume. This is my Girl of Now Elisab Shine that I bought maybe about a month or two months ago. And as you could see, I already worn so much of it. And the packaging here is opaque that I can't see what's inside, but I do wear them a lot, you know? So yeah, this is one of the one that I'll be reaching for a lot during fall. I'll be reaching for my Girl Now Elisa Shine as well. The opening is a beautiful pineapple-y goodness. It smells as if you're biting into a, a pineapple, a canned pineapple, and as it dries down, becomes as if you're smelling the leftover syrup from that canned pineapple, and the pineapple's gone. But it also has this like beautiful, beautiful, beautiful orange blossom. This one's really, really beautiful, you guys. I recommend this. Um, you need both. I don't know. Depends who you are. Not the same, but you know. All right. So the next one that I'm excited to wear during fall is I went to Guerlain Connor and I smell Guerlain Spiritus Double Fini, but I don't have it. I would hopefully one day own that one, even though that's not high in my priority list. I have a lot of other perfume that I want more. This it instantly reminds me of 
Elizabeth and James Nirvana bourbon. So to me, when I first smelled it before, this one smells so much like a cigarette butt. But after smelling Spiritus Double Vanille, I find that this is quite similar, but it's missing that booziness effect. And this one has a lot more cedar. Um, it also reminds me of the Zara tobacco collection, Rich Warm Addictive. This one has honey, tobacco, and coconut. But this too gives similar vibe as Spiritus Double Vanille, but it doesn't have that booziness. So I'm planning to play around with this too. For sure, I love this one a lot. Oh, the next perfume that I'm looking forward to wear a lot during fall is a Jean Paul Gaultier Label. I love this one. It's three notes, simple. It's pear, vetiver, and vanilla. Oh my God, this one's so good, you guys. And this one smells so much similar to BDK Pasta Soir, which I have a decan of. Uh, I'm gonna make a video of all the BDK perfume that I've tried. That one's absolutely, absolutely, absolutely beautiful. But after smelling that, it makes me want to reach for this a lot. The next perfume that I'm looking for to wear during fall is Victor and Ralph Bon Bon. This is a beautiful candy-like, caramelly, orangey, sweet sen i bought this like earlier this year but then it's starting to enter summer so i didn't really get to wear this a lot um, so i'm hoping that i could enjoy this a lot more this is a little bit musky yeah so this is a very sexy date night gourmand this smells a little bit sophisticated it's not as girly as i thought it would be now that i smell it because from the packaging it looks like it's some girly girly scent but after smelling it this is a date night sweet scent um this is actually is more date night compared to dolce gabbana the only one intense to me this one has that sexier vibe this is flirty this is fun this is sexy and um this is outgoing very approachable for sure this is beautiful yeah so i can't wait till i wear a lot more of these because guys i've been purchasing so much perfume and i'm hoping that i could enjoy what i have before i acquired more because you know that i have so many in my wish list and it's so hard to resist temptation to buy all right so the next one that i'm looking forward to wear alien uh, i mentioned this so many times this is amber, jasmine, and putsy notes. This is beautiful. It screams sexy. It's loud. I wear this when I want attention. Um, I also have the All Sublime. I wear that during summer. So I'm hoping during fall I could wear this a lot more. Even though I live in the south where it's kind of hot. All right, so next perfume that I'm hoping to wear a lot more during fall is uh, this is poison girl all the perfume from christian dior i love this one you guys the opening smells like a mentholated plum and then as it dries down the tonka and licorice starts to dance around this one is beautiful i could wear tonka all year round but for some reason the, the tonka in uh, poison girl or the perfume is a little bit more suitable for fall I do have other Tonka perfume that I'm gonna feature in my future videos that is wearable throughout the year. So I am so excited that I'll be wearing a lot more. As you can see, I've worn it quite a bit, but not too much, not too much. I wore this a whole lot more, can you see? <laughs> so the next perfume that I'm looking forward to wear during fall is Nisha Ani. This is a beautiful green perfume it opens up a little bit herbaceous green and this one changes you guys oh my god why is this so beautiful <laughs> okay so it opens up as a green herbally vanilla perfume and literally immediately after 
the ginger start to shine it becomes a very gingery vanillic perfume and the ginger is gonna go down and it's gonna smell like vanilla eraser this one is so different it's so beautiful oh i love this one so much you guys if you don't have nishani ani go sample it it's expensive don't break your bank just sample it if you like it save up for it as you could see i worn this a lot <laughs> Yep, your girl likes to wear a shit ton of perfume, okay? Oh, so beautiful, you guys. This is another different perfume that I love. This is also green. This is Yves Saint Laurent Manifesto. Oh, it's a green phenolic, a little bit warm and ambery. I know that there's no amber notes here. There's a black currant and blah, blah, blah. I don't read notes, guys. I just tell you what I smell. Yeah, so this is a very, very, very sensual green vanilla that's warmed. And this one radiates warmness. This one smells like the dry down of a lot perfume that has vanilla, amber, and like orange blossom. So beautiful. Uh, does it smell similar to Ani? Not at all. Well, I mean... And yes, they both have a green in the opening, but that's about it. But they smell completely different. Another one that I have been wearing a lot during summer, staying at home. Like, but this is more suitable for fall, and I will continue reaching for this a lot. This is Mancera Rosas Vanille. As you could see, I want a lot of this. This is the most beast mode projecting perfume that I've had in my collection. This is rose and vanilla and a little bit of oud. This is my workhorse perfume. You could buy this at this counter store for like $60, $70. I don't remember how much exactly it is. But you get 120 mils and this thing projects. For normal people, you probably only need like one or two spray and you're good for the rest of the day projection monster like super duper long lasting it has syntheticness plasticky vibe of mancera but if you accept that this is like the best bang for your buck and this one i need one or two spray and it will last throughout the day such a good value and because of that i really really want to get more Mancera or Mantel in my collection because they're just so good for the value. I keep sniffing Ani. It's just so beautiful, you guys. Beautiful. Ani, you're so beautiful. Okay, the last one but not least. I actually don't know how I feel about this, but I am planning to wear this more during fall. This is Azadik Voltaire. This is her. Um... It's just the opening and the body is beautiful. Smells like a creamy whipped cream, chestnut, sandalwoody scent. And as time progresses, the creaminess dies down, the sweetness dies down, the nuttiness dies down, and becomes more and more masculine. The sandalwood here is made of javanol. If you don't like javanol, you're not gonna like this. It's a very synthetic sharp chemical that they use for sandalwood um so i did some reading about javanol like if you want a pencil shaving type of sandalwood what they do is they put 80 percent javanol and 20 percent of another chemical and when you combine it you get the pencil shaving one i think this one is has a whole lot more javanol it didn't have that other ingredients that make it smells like pencil shaving because this one does not smell like pencil shaving this one smells like a very masculine man cologne that lasts forever but it smells so rough and masculine now i love 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 the opening in the body but the dry down i am trying to experiment with this because the dry down lasts forever so this could be a very very good carrier for perfume like this that doesn't last a long time you know 
anyway so if you enjoyed my video please don't forget to like subscribe comment down below what's the perfume that you're looking for to wear the most during this fall with a green heart that you watched the whole video thank you so much for watching happy fall and i'll see you in the next one Bye bye